51 months, our collective agreement expires. What will our classrooms look like? What levels of support will our students have? We know that BC public schools get $1,000 less per student than the Canadian average. And by 2019, we'll likely be the lowest paid teachers in Canada. So how are we going to ensure that we're prepared for the next round of bargaining? With members engaged, informed, and united. This September, my oldest granddaughter, Jubilee, starts kindergarten. By 2019, Isabel, number two, will be in grade one. And Janet, number three, the last, will be starting K. No matter if it's your family, my family, we all want what's best for students. And they all, we hope, get the supports and the one-on-one -on -one time that they may need. And what do we face? A government. A government that allows 156,000 BC kids to live in poverty. Whose agenda is to privatize education. That doesn't respect courts. That doesn't respect collective agreements. And refuses to deal with class size and composition. And believes that it needs to fix the teacher. Well, Minister Fassbender, Teachers don't need to be fixed. Premier Clark, schools aren't broken. And Minister DeYoung, schools are broke. So it's critical that we continue educating the public on the effects of underfunding, because duct tape is not enough. Our message needs to awaken principals and district management and trustees to advocate for public education. As a social justice union, we need to support the fight for 15, work to alleviate poverty that we see in our classrooms every day. We need to speak up loudly against racism, misogyny, and homophobia, because if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? It was an honor to serve as a member at large from 2012 to 14. Last year I was unable to be at the AGM, so you got flat mic. Well, he's back and so am I. And we're both here to ask you for your vote. As your member at large, I will continue to work tirelessly to represent all members, continue to work to improve the conditions in our classrooms, and I'll continue to work to improve the greater social and economic conditions in our communities. Thank you.